Lovely boat there. She's called Leventail or Levante, I suppose. It's French word meaning a handheld fan. She's in lovely condition. She's a 57 foot semi trad built by JD Narrowboats in 2018 and fitted out by JD Narrowboats and bits of it by the original owner. She was blacked in March this year, 2023. The engine was serviced last in May 23. And there's a survey available from February 2023, which is available in the office for viewing. Go around the fence here. The cratch cover is in reasonable condition. The paint works in nice condition. You can see there's some solar power on the roof there, 340 watts. Pole plank and hook there. Decent sized pram hood on the back deck. Keeps the elements out. <clears throat> really presentable condition this boat. You can see it's a bit frosty this morning, so things are going to be slippery. Take a bit of care. So the rear deck is um, three foot four inch, inches long, or the, and the semi trad cockpit is four feet four inches. Storage in the locker here. It's obviously forms a seat as well. And the same on the other side. There's the view from the helm. And down we go. She's reverse layout, so well sort of reverse layout actually. You'll see what I mean when we go when we go through. Into the galley, which is a good size, ten feet seven inches long. The worktops are laminate, wood effect, decent sized spice rack up there. There's a lot of room in this kitchen. A lot of preparation space. Lots of storage. We'll start with this cupboard here. So the current owners um, basically came over, bought the boat in February. They just wanted to do the summer and now they're heading back to Australia. Got a house to do up. Drawers here. There's a lot of storage on this boat, you'll see as we go through. Stainless steel sink, covers underneath. The washing machine is a Zanussi 3 kilo washing machine. And a microwave up there on the shelf. This is the electric end. You can see the inverter there. It's a Sterling Pro Combi 2 kilowatt inverter. Under there is storage and a decent sized storage area here. On the other side of the galley, we've got the cooker here. It's a Statesman oven, grill and full burner gas hob. Another good size cupboard here. And the fridge is a 12 volt uh, lek with an ice box. Radiator in the galley they just caught a glimpse of. Next is the dinette area. Pullman style dinette with a side hatch opposite. This does turn into a double bed. Spare double berth, table drops down. Storage under those benches. The dinette is six feet long. Quite a cosy little area, actually. I really like it. I really like the boat, if I'm being honest. Then we've got the bathroom. It's a Thetford cassette loo, two spare cassettes on board. That basin is ceramic, a little medicine cabinet above the basin and a cupboard underneath. A couple of shelves <clears throat> over the loo there. Heated towel rail, central heating on board. There's never spack a diesel fired central heating system, four radiators and a towel rail. There's a light in the shower cubicle there. Glass door. <clears throat> and on we go. Next is the bedroom. So the layout is a bit unusual, so it's not strictly speaking a reverse layout uh, boat, I suppose, but you know what I mean, it's galley first. The bed itself is six foot four inches long, four feet wide, storage underneath. Cupboard's over. I like the lights on the wall. Quite stylish. At the foot of the bed there, there's a drawer. And another cupboard there. Close that door. To expose a couple of drawers. And the, uh, the wardrobe area. It's good use of space. On we go into the saloon. Uh, 
that's a sofa bed. So the bed does actually sleep six. There's an, a rather solid fuel stove in the corner there. It's carpeted in here. There's a closer look at the stove. And a little, I suppose, a little desk area here, isn't it? Use that for using your laptop or doing a bit of work. Shelves above. Another cupboard on the left here. And there. So you get the feeling of how much storage there is on this boat. Oh, that was uh, cash. And the well deck itself is four feet long. I didn't mention the saloon, actually, just over 12 feet long. Glazed cratch board. The water tank's under here. Polypropylene, 600 litres. Glazed front doors. Hot water on board. There's 75 litre calorifiers. That's a good size. That's heated by the engine, the Eberspac, and there's also an immersion heater on board. It's got a galvanic isolator. 13 kilo gas bottles are in the front lock up there, by the way. I didn't mention those. All the lighting's LED. Headroom on the boat is 6 foot 5. She's got a bank of 330 amp hour domestic batteries, AGMs. They were brand new in August this year, 2023. There's one starter battery as well. Let's go up and have a quick look at the engine. Which is in here. It's a Beta 43. I think I mentioned it was serviced in May this year. Bank of batteries is in there as well. And that's it. Even tail. Levante. I don't know how to say that in French, so I think I'll stop trying. Lovely boat. Further photographs. Fully downloadable colour brochure and the price. Go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.